Hi guys, so I will be making a sweet potato casserole for this video. Um, this is a recipe that I'm actually taking out of a cookbook. This is a cookbook that my aunt and uncle and their family put together and as you can see there's quite a few pages in it. Um, <clears throat> but this is one that my cousin has listed and this is the first time I'm going to try them. So what you'll need, you'll need um, your sweet potatoes, eggs, brown sugar, milk, butter, vanilla, and pecans. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your sweet potatoes and you see my little pile of peelings there. You're going to peel them and then dice them up just like you would a white potato. Um, of course, you can always leave the skin on. I personally don't like the skin of the sweet potatoes. Um, if it was just a white or red potato, I probably would, but I don't like the skin on the sweet potatoes. So I discarded those um, and cut them up and I will add those to a pan of water and boil them until they are fork tender. Okay, these have been boiling for probably 20 minutes, maybe 15-20 minutes. And you want to just check and make sure that they're fork tender, meaning they can, you can stick a fork in them and they're easily removed. It's mushy. So this is the consistency. Oops. This is the consistency that you want. So I'm going to drain these and put them back in the pot and we'll come back. Okay, so I left a little bit of the water in and the heat is off. It's just still hot. I'm just going to mash these up. This is where I'm going to add my eggs, my milk, brown sugar, and butter. And I'll be back. Okay, one tip. Since the potatoes are hot, go ahead and beat your eggs with the milk. And then all you're going to do is add... Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Go ahead and add some of the sweet potatoes to the eggs. This is going to make sure that the eggs don't scramble when you put all the eggs into the sweet potatoes because you don't want scrambled eggs in this casserole. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more. Okay. And then you can add the eggs and the milk directly in there. Now you won't have scrambled eggs. Okay, so I put those sweet potatoes into an 8x8 eight eight pan. The recipe did call for a 9x13, but that is currently being used by my ham that's in the oven. So I am using an 8x8. Eight eight, and there's plenty of room on the top to put the topping. So that's what I'm going to make next. Okay, so now I'm making the topping. You're going to want a third cup of melted butter. You're going to want a half or a third cup of flour. And a half a cup of brown sugar. And then you're going to mix that all together. I'll add the brown sugar when I have another hand. Okay, so here's what the topping mixture looks like. I'm going to just pour this on top of the sweet potatoes and then come back. Okay, so the topping is on and now I'm just going to put my pecans on top. Now, of course, you can have a fancy um, design on it. I'm not going to. I'm just going to put them on top. Okay, so there's my sweet potato casserole. It's ready to go into the oven and it'll go in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes or until it's bubbling. Can't wait to try this. Okay, so there's the final product of my sweet potato casserole. Yes, the pecans got a little dark. Um, I'll still eat them. It's okay. I left them in just a little too long. Um, you're going to let this set for a good 15 minutes to cool down. Otherwise, you're going to burn your mouth, and it won't firm up like it's supposed to. But it is firm and looks delicious, I think. There it is, all dished up. I did try by. It is really, really good, guys. Just my 
sweet potatoes. Um, I hope you try it and enjoy.